Howdy. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the test for divergence, okay? So from here on out, for the rest of the time, um, for all the series, these are all going to be infinite series, okay? So what an infinite series is, as I kind of sort of mentioned in the previous video, from whenever you have some 1 to infinity, what this is, this is literally adding up every single term in your sequence, okay? You take your list of numbers, your infinite list of numbers, and you add them together. And so, from here we need to determine, what the test for divergence is to help us determine whether a series converges or diverges. Now what the test for divergence says is you're going to take the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of that a n. And if that limit does not equal zero, your infinite sum will diverge. However, if your limit does equal zero, this test fails. Just because the last term in your list goes to zero does not necessarily mean that your infinite sum converges. It can get to infinity. Your sum can get to infinity before your term gets to zero. It's pretty crazy stuff. Really cool stuff, but really crazy stuff. However, this first one should be relatively intuitive because you're taking the limit as n goes to infinity of your sequence. And if the last term in your sequence is any number but zero, let's just say it's one, well, of course your sum is going to diverge, right? Because what would I be doing out at infinity? I'd be doing 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 an infinite number of times. That's why your sum would diverge. But if this last term goes to 0, there are some series that converge, some series that diverge. I don't know. And that's what this entire chapter is going to be about. Is about the rest of this chapter is going to be about is determining whether these infinite terms, or sorry, this infinite sum will converge or diverge. Anyways, but test for divergence is nice and easy because the first question they ask us is does the uh, sum of arctangent of n converge or diverge? So all you would do is you would take the limit. The limit as n goes to infinity of the arctangent of n. And if you remember back from improper integrals, the arctangent as x goes to infinity goes to pi over 2. Now here's where a lot of people get confused. This sequence, had they said, does the sequence converge or diverge? That sequence converges. Your list will go pi over 2, pi over 2, pi over 2, over and over and over. But your series will diverge. And it will diverge by the test for divergence. Your series will diverge because out at infinity, you're doing pi over 2 plus pi over 2 plus pi over 2, and so forth. It is imperative that you understand the difference between a sequence, which is a list, and a series, which is the sum of that list, because you're going to be throwing thousands of rules, and I feel like thousands of rules, as to whether things converge or diverge. But if you understand what things are, these rules become more intuitive. So test for divergence is the very first type that we're going to go over. Join me in the next video, and we'll talk about geometric series.